countless hours and other quantities are plotted against time. The name derived from an S-like shape of the curve, flattened at the beginning and a steeple in the middle. Uh, beginning represents a slow degree break, but accelerating start, while the end represents the deceleration as work runs out. There are a variety of s curve that are applicable to project management applications including man hours versus time s curve cost versus time s curve baseline s curve actual s curve target s curve value and percentage s curve resource consumption consists of two types of s curve First is man hours versus time, and second is cost versus time. The first resource consumption is man hours versus time S curve. The man hours versus time S curve is suitable for projects that are labor intensive. It shows cumulative and hours expended over time for the duration of the project. As man hours are a product of manpower and working hours, this may be adjusted together or individually to keep the project on schedule. Project may require additional man hours to finish on time due to low productivity, delays, and disruption. The second resource consumption is cost versus time S curve. The cost versus time S curve is suitable for projects that contain labor and non labor, for example, material supply. It shows cumulative costs expended over time for the duration of the project and may be used to assist in the calculation of the project cash flow and cost to complete. In S curve, the project progress can be tracked by baseline schedule, target S curve, and actual S curve. Baseline schedule is the schedule that will set the time frame and budget. Color of the baseline curve in the S curve is green. Okay. Normally, the modification of baseline schedule is usually required. The modification of the baseline schedule will reflect the actual progress of the project to date. From this modification, target S curve may be generated. In ideal world, Target S curve normally will meet the baseline S curve at the end of the project. Color of the target S curve in the S curve is red. After the target S curve of was generated, some update will be made throughout the duration of the project. This update was based on the actual performance of the project. This curve was called as actual S curve. S curve may be graphed as absolute values such as man hour or cost versus time or percentage values versus time. Why use an S curve? S curve is an important tool in project management tool. They show the project to be tracked visually over the time. Usually, project manager uh, usually to track the project, the project growth duration and the potential problem that may affect the project management. For determining growth of the project, comparison of the baseline and target S curve quickly reveals if the project has grown in scope. A change in the project scope reflects the reallocation of resources. If the resources are fixed, then the duration of the project will increase or decrease leading to the need to submit an accession of time. For determining slippage of the project, slippage is defined as the amount of time a task has been delayed from its original baseline. The slippage is difference between the schedule start or finish date for a task and the baseline start or finish date. Slippage can occur when a baseline plan is set and the actual date subsequently entered for task a later than the baseline date or the actual duration are longer than the baseline schedule duration. For determining progress of the project, comparison of the target S curve and actual S curve reveal the progress of the project over time. Normally, in most cases, 
the actual S curve will sit below the target S curve for the majority of the project due to many factors, including delays in updating the production schedule. Only towards the end of the project will the S curve will the curve converge and finally meet. The actual S curve can never finish above the target S curve. If the actual S curve sit above the target S curve at the cut off date, the production schedule should be examined to determine if the project is truly ahead of the schedule or the project is truly behind the schedule. How is an S curve generated? To generate a baseline S curve, baseline schedule is needed, and to generate actual and target S curve, production schedule is needed. In generating baseline schedule, the baseline schedule should contain baseline start date, finish date, baseline main hours or costs. In generating a production schedule, the production schedule should contain the following information. First one is the actual start date, finish date, actual main hours or costs, actual percentage complete. To generate a baseline main hours versus time S curve, two sets of calculation are performed. The first set of calculation is performed for each task in the baseline schedule. The first step is to calculate the duration in days for each task. Formula is baseline duration equal to baseline finish date minus baseline start date plus 1. The second step is to calculate main hours per day for each task which is baseline main hours per day equal to baseline main hours over baseline duration. These calculations are shown in the following table. The second set of calculation is performed for each day in the baseline schedule. Calculate the total man hours per day for all tasks and calculate the year to date total for man hours per day for all tasks. These calculations are shown in the following table. The S curve is constructed by assigning the dates to the X axis and the YTD values to the Y axis. The resulting baseline man hours versus time S curve is shown. In conclusion, with S curve, client can observe the progress of the project. If the project is delayed, the earned value will be below the planned value. Whereas, if the project is ahead of the schedule, earned value will be above the planned value. Actual value is to track the budget of the project. The project will be under budget if it is the below the planned value.